everyone this is Chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today today is May 30th 2022 and we're doing a comic book reading or comic book readings uh, sort of excerpts that we're gonna do some uh, readings of uh, I've been reading a lot of random uh, comic books uh, for the last few weeks last few months really and um, I've this is sort of the st stack the main stack I guess I got a couple of other stacks going on somewhere else um, smaller stacks much smaller stacks so there's a couple of stacks here and I've pulled out some segments that I thought might be worth reading okay and there's a few comics here but before we go through this and ask uh, the chats how we should uh, go about this read segments first or show you what i've been reading first um i'm gonna do my little intro and uh, why while we wait for notifications to go out and people to roll in uh monday afternoon comic book reading awesome 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 gang if you don't want to if you want to know what this work is about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o i do also have a subscribe star page and a Substack page now okay and i'll slowly start introducing those links as well in uh, the intro sort of switch it up because we're we have sort of decentralized to a degree uh set up all the different platforms so it is part of our decentralization program uh something that will help us to stay anti-fragile oh the god how are you doing DC Monday, DC actually there's is there more DC than Marvel? There's more independence in these piles than any of the big two. Pretty sure about that. Microtus, how are you doing? Look who it is, indeed, indeed. Facet, how are you doing? What's up guys? Welcome, welcome to another live stream. And gang, for those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, thank you very much for your support. I hope you're enjoying the content. It is in large part because of the support we're getting on Patreon and Twitch. That we're able to do what it is that we are doing so again thank you very much for coming here joining these live streams facet thank you very much for uh the subscribe uh tier one sub love this channel also and first time chat scrumpy tv hello chicho glad i caught the stream awesome to have you you got a nice one nice chill let's enjoy uh some history comic book history and sort of related to human history really human artifacts that's the gig right Finnish dude how are you doing what what happened for uh, fin, Finnish dude was keeping us up to date regarding Finland and Canada uh, playing hockey yesterday and last uh, by the time I think we finished the stream it was 3-3 a Finland Canada tie and looks like Finland won 4-3 so that must have been a game and a half was it a game and a half and that would have been may uh, 29th 2022 um which was a ch some some kind of it wasn't a friendly game i think it was a tournament game uh as far as if i remember correctly finished dude micro twist can't believe sweden lost to canada <laughs> when there were like three minutes left and i knew canada was gonna win in overtime my god gave the win away gave the win away would here's a here's a question micro twist would sweden have beaten finland that's that's one of the things with sports right one team might beat another team in a sort of a elimination round right and they face this team now this team people would say could easily beat, the, beat these guys but this team would have lost to these guys and when these guys lose to these guys and these guys it's like it sort of becomes a shame but that is part of the game right yeah if you're supposed to be the best team you should be able to beat everyone and um, you should have a little bit of luck on your side we can't do anything without luck cheryl how are you doing sports ball or puck as it may be sports ball puck hockey Microtus. Well, they beat Finland the first time uh, they met each other earlier in the tournament. Oh, really? So this was elimination round. 
Finland must have cheated. Somehow, <laughs> look how sense. <laughs> Finnish dude. Finland won every game except one. Every game except one. What was Canada's uh, record? What was Canada's record? And gang, we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Mines BK Gap, Parlor Bit, uh, Bit Clouds, and Getter. And who knows which platforms we will join next. Uh, but we are sharing our multiple platforms. You can follow us on, on those platforms. Uh, for live streams, when we don't have any visuals, we do announce the, or we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com as a podcast. And those podcasts are available and should be available on your favorite podcasting platform. Facet. So I'm seeing more and more CGC rated comics selling for silly money. Are people cashing in on comics that aren't worth CGC grades? I, yeah, some of the prices are insane. But one thing with CGC graded comics, one of the reasons they're, or graded comics, that they're going for a lot because it's costing a lot more money to get comics graded. So to a certain degree, it's you're buying the value added part of the comic and then people are doing a hail mary saying hey maybe this will be worth more than a little bit of premium i'm paying but saving the hassle and the shipping and the grading and they know what they're getting so the the hobby is kicked into uh, a new It, it, I, I, I won't, I'm not going to say it's a bubble because it's not a bubble. Collectibles is real assets, right? It is investing, but it's now kicking into a new phase, I believe, where people have realized that, you know what? Fiat currencies aren't worth shit, right? They're not worth very much. They lose their value over time, right? And a lot of hard assets are out of reach of many people, right? For example, real estate or gold or silver uh or crypto or whatever because nfts the gas price of nfts is insane right so and those are a lot of digital so people are looking towards parking their money in hard assets and they don't they're not looking to flip to a certain degree there's a certain flipping uh sector of the industry right and there always has been and there always will be Otherwise, the market just, uh, lick, um, what do you call it? Uh, velocity of money will cease and then everything dies, right? So you need the trade. Uh, we, we'll see, we see where it's going. We see where it's going. Uh, I just made some purchases online. Okay. I try to get a really good deal and I think I got a really good deal. Uh, but I've seen some stuff go for pretty high premium where for me, as far as I'm concerned, and then a year later i said man i wish i bought that comic because there are insider trading in the comic book industry right there are people who know for example in hollywood and netflix amazon wherever these in these products are being made there are people that know uh, about a tv series about a first appearance about a movie about a project that is going to be kicked up and it will propel a character into the spotlight right so they get in on the ground floor right they get in early and if you're tracking comic books you'll notice movement in comic books before the revelations in a certain about a certain tv series about a certain movie about a certain first appearance right um and you'll wonder what what's happening one of the best examples of this is Moon Knight, right? The first appearance of Moon Knight, okay? You could have picked up eight years ago, six years ago, five years ago for about 20% of what it's going for now, right? So that would have been a five banger if you got an early five years ago with the first appearance of Moon Knight, right? There are other characters that this is happening to as well so we'll see what the market does but right now everything is insane everything is insane All right boss man chicho since you don't love the new star wars shows like mando and boba fett 
the comics like the Darth Vader series are great and expand the lore in ways the movies don't get close to I've heard I've heard uh, baseman um, but I haven't been reading actually there's a there's a Star Wars comic in this in this lot uh, Dark Horse presents that I read which I enjoy so I do read some older Star Wars comics I haven't been buying I bought some of the newer comics Star Wars comics but I didn't pick up any uh, on my pull list and I don't have a pull list now so I won't be picking up anything new Lark Bark how are you doing Chicho my man what's new reading comics scrumpy TV I've never seen the comics for the question and century but they're very interesting characters yeah 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 I have the century here as well where's the century uh, century <laughs> nice read right nice read so I read some century a good heavier characters right uh, sort of I like B characters a lot because B characters aren't pigeonholed as much as a characters right uh, a creator can come and pick up a B character and propel it into the a-list instantly right instantly faucet I think CGC is a good new commodity uh, I've collected rare guitars and since for 30 years I see comics as as a good asset uh, me me as well and of course other things such as guitars and synths and whatnot elder god anyone using sovereign.media I just joined I don't know that one uh, crack how are you doing good afternoon did I see a scout comic and that is that yes there are scouts comics here as well <laughs> I think so anyway I think so anyway gang as far as the intro goes we will be loading this on all four video sharing platforms sensor to Pichu, rumble and odyssey for those of you that are following the work there thank you for the follows if you want to uh know everything that we're uploading or have a, at least sampling of what it is that we're sharing all of it you want to be on bitchu rumble and odyssey because we don't load everything on sensor tube and we do have a gilded page if you want to join a forum and uh, participate in our discussions that we have uh, and there's a lot of information being shared including comic books and whatnot gang i want to take this down let's get into the game at play today boop and boop gang these two stacks of comics okay this I'll, sh I'll show it to you guys basically these two stacks of comics of what i've been reading for the last um few months right i don't, I don't know how many months but a few months i've been just piling it right and what i did while i was going through these comics this is what i've decided to do i i don't know if i'm going to do this all the time but i took out some of them with little segments which i found interesting fun right uh like it sort of stood out or shared a little bit of info or portrayed the character or the comic in a in an interesting light sort of a good sampling of what that comic book was like right so we can go through these little segments i don't know how long this will take us to go through it might be we might require the full time okay and the rest of this or the rest of the comics i've gone through read that you know i didn't highlight anything so should we should i just zoom through these speedy gonzalez or should we just get to the readings asap you guys let me know what do you think what do you think elder god it's a rare comic stream and the crack appears yeah yeah <laughs> we crack we're going to do more comic book streams and for those of you that love the comic book content apologies if i haven't been doing as many comic book readings i've been crazy busy and i've just been enjoying just reading the comics and stuff like this and uh, you know we've needed to take care of some current events news because important stuff is going on as as well as economics and whatnot right but we're going to get way more into comics in the summer way more we're going to try to do one a week <laughs> we'll see uh um, crack ha huh? smelled comics all the way in the prairies <laughs> awesome Lord Park the question is a fantastic comic book character fantastic comic book character very very nice very nice and great stories being told it's not just a character it's 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 the stories 
right? So in this lot, I read four uh, question comics, right? I read question number eight, number 11, number 12, and number 18. And the beauty of it is a lot of the older comics to a certain degree, uh, they were standalone. They were connecting stories that they were telling from one comic to another, right? And continuing series. But they usually told a story dealt with one issue per comic so they're great just to pick up a random and read a lot of the newer comics you have a hard time following a story um, some of the newer comics you have a hard time following the story unless you read five continuous back to back right back to back readings ASAP okay we go with readings ASAP finished to Canada had seven wins and three losses oh yeah Finland deserved the win uh, reading 100 points for the highlighted message finished dude changed my mind haha <laughs> crap glad to hear it chicho I will always try to tune in for future comic streams awesome crap would love to have you you're you're well informed the comic book realm readings is my vote as well we got double readings gang we're going readings okay let's go readings there were good comics in here let's pile these guys away We'll put these piles away. Let's get into some readings. Oh, before we get into readings, Cheryl, are you still here? Are you still here? Uh, are you still here? gotta be no let me find one where is it or did I put it in here is it part of this maybe yep okay cool oh I put it here nice awesome awesome okay Cheryl, just in case you're gonna step away. Girl talk number two, fantagraphic books. Okay, we'll read the question first because I had that up queued up first. Uh, the rest are random. But the question I wanted to show first. It's a great series. The question, I like. It should be way better known. Okay, like I personally in my collection, I would be proud. I would be proud, really. And I might try to do this if I get my hands on it on a nice sum of money or whatever right i at one point i would like to have every issue of the question graded and slabbed <laughs> all of them 9.8 and there's nothing wrong with building a collection like that right there's absolutely nothing wrong with building a collection like that uh, so check this out cheryl this girl talk this is a comic book uh, that was put out uh, by Fantagraphics, and I believe all the stories are uh, all the everything here is from ladies, uh, from women, right? It, nice read, interesting read. There's like how many stories here? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, I, I forgot there was six. Uh, yeah, I guess seven stories in this. Okay, this story. Uh, this one on page 20 oh oh fuck i'm a victim by vicky robin oski okay look this up if you can if you can track it down this isn't an expensive comic by the way all of these comics that you're seeing right now i picked up for 25 cents each right like a couple of years ago when a comic book store was uh, getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff so 25 cents a pop some fantastic reading right cool the uh, the art Cheryl it changes based on the person like it's it's fantagraphics right the art here check this out here it's it's a gatefold cover okay <laughs> right it's a mishmash of stuff but wow uh, crack girl talk nice pickup not easy to find out there Fanta put out some great stuff back then. Seems like it's just collections and uh, hardcovers now. Wow, 25, 25 cents each. 
Cheryl, holy crap. Oh, I can't show you any more pages. Okay. It, it's about uh, it's about rape. Uh, it was very little words until the end. Okay. It's just like f six pages or something like this. This is probably the best uh, it was heavy like whoa. this is the best uh, depiction of a vile event this vile event that I've ever seen in comic books okay um, and that's the only thing I'm gonna do with this we're not gonna read through this whole thing at this four pages so gang sorry we're starting off with girl talk as far as uh comic book reading goes for this for this stream okay mature readers only gang okay mature readers only okay Whoop. mature readers only okay girl talk from fantagraphic books okay sure the uh the one panel cheryl the one panel is hint enough to the rest yeah it gets heavier Oof. right elder god can you post that on gilded yeah you know what if you remind me i'll take pics and post them on our gilded comic book folder uh comic book uh, uh folder good idea elder god good idea and it's a gatefold cover right all the stories here are told by women okay drawn told by women uh girl talk talks coming out party girl talks coming out party right and it's the third story that is extremely powerful uh, i found powerful the other ones were intriguing it was fun uh, but this one was blew me away okay oh fuck i'm a victim by vicky robino was i don't know the name and this was put out in 1995 1995 okay issue number two i don't know how many issues this went for okay so that's our first reading apologies if that was a surprise uh, interesting fanographic comics uh, books put out a lot of amazing comics okay so what we're gonna do i want to put this here we're gonna read some excerpts from all of these comics okay let me show you what we got the question uh this is this is funny ib okay uh snap snapshot image comics dc comics independent image comics uh not bad zero tolerance and some of these i highlighted specifically for example this one has one of the best car chase uh sequences in comics a fun car chase sequence in comics we're going to go through okay a uh, great detective story so there's a whole bunch of stuff here okay but let's start off with the question let's start off with the question let me have a sip Craxis says think there was only four issues of girl of girl talk uh, I only have the last one you only have the last one it, it goes super cheap which I'm amazed really and personally um, if the comic book collecting industry continues to grow like this there's gonna be people wanting these independent comics and there aren't that many of them around okay there aren't that many of them around gang this is the question okay 19 the series started off this is question number 11 and this is dated uh, da, 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 1987 so this series must have started in 1987 uh, 1986 okay this is issue number 11 okay. you know what I'm gonna take my video down um, and we're just gonna do the readings so I'm gonna take this guy down so we don't interfere with the with the readings and I'm gonna take the chat down as well um where are we doing and doing and i'm going to take chat down as well so that doesn't interfere with our readings Boink. and i'm going to take notifications down as well okay okay and i'm going to move this back a little bit nice 
nice. Okay. So this is put out the story. Put out by Dennis O'Neill. Okay, art is by Denny Cowan and Rick My Magyar. From 1987, actually 1987, right? November 1987. Uh, the question number 11. Okay. Suggested for mature readers, but we're not going to be reading anything that contains anything like uh, what I showed you guys on Girl Talk. Okay. Comic Visions, welcome to our live stream. And gang, this is spoiler warning here i'm sorry i should uh, you know i didn't want to pick up uh something that it was towards the end of a, like a three issue story arc but this is or yeah it, it's sort of self-containing but this is the end of a story arc right and the artwork is beautiful let me check take a look at this the cover right Beautiful artwork. And this is a depiction of the bad guy in the comic. Okay. Now, the reason I picked this little segment is because uh, it's well, it's it's intricate it's fun uh, and it's a good portrayal of the story okay and it really doesn't have uh, a lot to do with the question himself the main guy it's his partner and his partner is key uh, in in the question series right so basically what's happened is the white guy is the bad guy okay like a bond villain type of person and he's trying to get something accomplished right and this is where we're picking up the story brilliant absolutely brilliant and this is the question's partner and he's been kidnapped and the bad guy has brought him here to look at this device okay you find no mistakes the guy in the white suit asks I didn't say that I believe there is a slight error in the 15th trinomial equation a matter of inverting the third integer and inserting a prime number sequence but the basic work is astonishing it could it could advance quantum physics tremendously perhaps even provide the key to a unified field theory my heartfelt con congratulations he says thank you but the work is not mine the bad guy says it is his and the person walking through right now is the bad guy's father someone that the questions partner had worked with in the past which is sort of told in the beginning earlier uh, this issue it's his hello Ari it's been a long time he says Rodrigo Rodrigo Gomez how are you where have you been all these years my son has kept me under lock and key he says he was ashamed of me oh oh more than that much more I was disgusted by you revolted the bad guy said
I did not kill you because my greatest joy was making you suffer. I greatly enjoyed watching something so hideous wreathe in pain. This is the father talking to the son. <laughs> and the guy's like, what? You are a monster, he says. I said I was, didn't I? He replies, the father says, quite true, I suppose. I have personally tortured to death over 2,000 men, 2,000 people, men, women, children, babies, grandmothers. I have studied the monsters of history. Torquemin, Mada, Nero, Mangal, and none was as relentlessly, persistently, imaginatively cruel as I. You boast, he asks. Certainly, but I also state facts, he replies. There is another fact, Professor Rodor. If our experiment fails, I shall put you to the torture, both of you. I shall use all I have learned to cause you agony such as no man has ever endured before. You will be months dying. It thrills me to think of it. What are you doing, Ari? The father asks. Inverting the third integer and inserting a prime number sequence, he replies. And this is right now the question coming in here senior gomez temenos speak english we have guests we found we find intruder charlie and that's the question that they're bringing in charlie you know him a rescuer good good he will be another subject for me should we fail tonight damn drug limbs like jelly can't get my act together the questions thinking we begin then tonight gentlemen in just a few moments we shall witness one of two events and this is something that he possesses that's important for this experiment right. the ultimate vindication of mankind's highest aspirations proof that the things of the spirit exist or yet another of the dismal failures in our pathetic attempts to prove that we are more than mud. The instruments are being turned on, fine-tuned, the button being pressed. And a huge engine rumbles into life. Causing the fort above 
to tremble as though caught in an earthquake, causing tremors in the Barrett a mile away, Barrio a mile away. And atoms hurl through miles of curving tunnels, boosted along by radio waves until they travel almost at the speed of light. To be funnel, uh, funneled into a cylinder and arrive finally microseconds after they began their journey at their destination. To change atoms, broken electrons, stripped from nuclei. Protons sundered from neutrons. Protons and neutrons shattered into showers of moons, neutrinos, canos, photons, bosons, mesons, gravitons. The stuff, non-stuff, maybe stuff of the universe spinning and bouncing and whirling a mad dance bad guy standing in the in the machine <laughs> we gotta get their facial expressions skeleton focused his arm slowly and Ari smiles <sighs> and then nothing question asks him are you there tot what happened man answer me damn it got to get you out of here he says grabs him the question picks him up questions a great fighter by the way he's trained a lot he's pretty strong right Gomez, Gomez is Stag's taught, but don't worry, they're all just looting. They aren't interested in us, they're copying the goods. Sell them, get rich, corrupting youth, American way, Santa Presca way, I mean, world's way, I guess.
they, they did some reading on the plane know who saint saint presca was taught virgin martyr supposed to have lived during the reign of claudius first century but here comes the good part she never really existed somebody made her up of course that doesn't mean she was a bad person Basically, he carries them, okay, all the way, okay, all the way, flies them all the way home, and this guy is still his buddy, still remains sort of, doesn't say anything, right, doesn't say anything, and the question feeds him, takes care of him, right, for how long? You see the beard grow, he takes him home, and he's still just not saying anything, not saying anything, not saying anything, not saying anything. The question just keeps on asking him, right? And towards the end, okay, it says, Where is all like a girl, Priscilla, a fairy tale? Fairy tales have their uses, Charlie. Taught, he finally speaks, and some questions don't have answers and what happened with this story the this device was supposed to give this person sort of I forget what it was sort of immortality to a certain degree and when he messed around with the equations okay with the code he knew he was about to <laughs> knock this guy off <laughs> right so he programmed them in a way that it would just kill him eliminate him right so that's a good representation of this series uh, crack might have something else to say about that or anybody that's read this series but that's sort of the storytelling that you encounter in the question there is you know it's not like punches being blown it's not like a superhero comic book series even though it is considered superhero comic book series uh, it's more along the lines of very much Hellblazer and this is a series that came out in 1988 I believe which is absolutely amazing to read okay Jamie Delano and John Rig Rigway right or 1986 Hellblazer, maybe. Okay. Fun. Fun. Should we check out something else? Uh, Crack says, I've only read random question books. It's been one of my lists to dig in for a while. Yeah, I've been, I, I've, I've read certain runs, not runs, but certain issues back to back, but I've, I can't I I can't remember how many issues I've read but I've never read it from beginning to end which I hope to do one day okay here's an independent comic book and this this is a comic strips compilation of comic strip a comic strips this is I beam okay I beam uh, by Sam hurt and it's I beam number five and if you like, and I didn't know about iBeam when I picked this up, I picked this up for 25 cents as well, and like bins, right? Uh, might have crossed my path, but I don't remember. But iBeam is sort of a comic strip, uh, like newspaper comic strip. And this is a compilation of uh, some of the comics that he put out. Okay. 
And this is I-beam number five, the complete collection from 1978 to 1989, double diamond press, Austin, Texas. And I don't know if, I don't think this issue would have compiled 11 years of comics. I think this is number five of a compilation like this. So I'm assuming there might be uh, collected works of this somewhere out there, okay? So I beam slime and bone pie, it's just random stuff you know, random comic book strip things, right? <laughs> yeah, and he, he does the lettering. Crack says he likes the lettering on this. Uh, he does the lettering uh, different types of ways uh, inside as well. Uh, okay. And I didn't know this as well uh, either, right? So it basically gets into... And there's a story, um, I forget where it is, where I read it. Uh, I wish you were here. Hope you're enjoying the item stuff. I had a fun drawing. Okay, here's a message from Sam. Uh, but basically, he was a, he was a comic strip uh, artist for a university magazine. Okay. And once he graduated university, uh, he got picked up. Uh, so the comic strip got syndicated and this is basically him putting it together and i had never heard of i-beam as a comic strip so it must have been in the united states but here's a message from sam sam hurt okay uh oh readers oh readers what does sam hurt has to say let's see if this is going to be let's see if i'm going to read this it's black so it's going to be shining a lot having a great time wish you were here Hope you're enjoying this I beam stuff. I had fun drawing it. This issue gets into some noteworthy rod, stud muffins, and Beth material. It also contains. Let's see. Man. It also contains historic first appearance of peaches before she was uh, queen of the queen of the universe speaking of up that strip i reactivated the time machine uh, therein and included two uh, pages herein in addition i found some smoldering moldies that is to say something ancient ancient some ancient artifacts of my earlier career which i hope you will find interesting meanwhile fare thee well right just a message to his readers and when i started reading this it was just the first time i've read anything by him then it's fun the characters are cool the, they're they're fun characters there's nice humor in here okay but i went to two pages uh, where i found uh the interesting and it's basically this is one of the characters but i forgot their names already right so we're going to read these and it's about dating advice <laughs> so i thought it would be fun to take a look at and there's two parts to it okay so let's read this from the beginning okay let's see if we can do this properly so it focuses easy i'm having a hard time getting these things to focus today Let's see, what should I wear today? Wait a minute, something's wrong. There's nothing but bell bottoms in here. Ask not for whom the bell bottoms swing. It swings for you. Why, I'd rather defy fate or even be out of fashion. I guess the worst thing about keeping business hours is knowing some people don't have to. And uh, this guy, this is Ivy, and this guy are roommates, right? And he's unemployed, the, this guy, and he works a lot, okay? And the girl we're about to see come is I Beams, this guy's girlfriend. Oh, hi, Rat, Ratliff. Ratliff is this dude, so Ratliff. 
I was just in the neighborhood. Thought I'd drop in and say hi. Nice office. Say, you didn't have to get all dressed up. He's wearing a robe. Oh, he he. Well, it's hard to get overly motivated on Mondays. So what really brings you here? Ever have one of those days when you just can't get to sleep? Ratliff. You know, I beam, sometimes I wonder if the nature of man is basically good or evil. How come? Ratliff asks. Well, I hate to sound negative, but sometimes it seems like deep down we're all rotten. What makes you think that? I beam asks. Like this morning, I woke up with this urge to go out and perform some malicious deed. So what did you do? I deliberately failed to return an overdue library book. I fear for the human race, I beam says. So it's very innocent humor, right? Ratliff asks uh, Sally, I believe her name is. Sally, could you help me with uh, my love life? What's the problem, Ratliff? It's non-existent. Oh yeah, she says. Anyway, I figured with your special expertise, you could give me some pointers. Wait a minute, what special expertise, she asks. You're a girl, he whispers. Oh yeah, she says. So he's a very innocent guy, right? So you need tips on your relationship with the opposite sex, eh? I just thought it would be nice to get things rolling before I reach retirement age. Well, what areas are you having difficulty with? Just about every area, except maybe uh, their eyebrows, huh? I mean, oh, never mind. I'm still not sure where we should start. Could we go ahead? and start with elbows just to pl play it safe he says so basically the trick is to just be yourself that's it he asks what will what will get me that will get me a girl eventually uh, she replies take it from from me those macho games don't really don't appeal to women hmm I'll be darn I'll be darn and then this guy this is another character that appears he's very macho right what in heaven's name is going on here he asks Ratliff asked me for a few tips on how to appeal to women she says but he already knows I showed her Ratliff but but he already knows I showed her Ratliff so you've been going to rod for help too she asks hey baby this could be your lucky night <laughs> ratliff says now 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 sound like you mean it remember your god's gift to women <laughs> right so basically i found this part to be i mean the, these three i found to be super funny these three right and we had to sort of build it up with just these one two three base or four or three actually three segments we understood this guy's character right we understood this guy we got a feel for this guy and in one strip we <laughs> got the full-blown character of this guy right very well done very well done great humor great humor okay i highlighted this section too um because i think it's, let's read this okay and then let's read this bottom one okay 
Beard Slinger, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Oi, Cheryl says, with all my uh, Iverdu overdue oh, library books, I'd be on their list for sure. <laughs> Funny. Ten months. Thank you very much, Beard yeah, Slinger. Ten months in a row. And Cheryl says ninety-five percent. Oh God, I know a guy like this. He's the real. <laughs> oh my boy, Cheryl says. <laughs> Let's continue this. So, this guy's advice is for Ratliff to say this. Hey, baby, could could this be your lucky night? <laughs> Hey baby, this could be your lucky night. And the guy says, mean it, right? And then it continues. Look, this just isn't going to work, she says. Damn right it isn't, he replies. Hey, I was just trying to get the benefit of advice from two experts, Ratliff uh, says. But he's trying to teach you to be a fake and condescending towards women. And then he replies, this guy, and she's trying to make you sensitive and considerate. You're trying to get a girl, not become one. <laughs> and they both look at each other. <laughs> you know, you're beautiful when you're angry. <laughs> and they're both like sigh. Oh my god, too funny, too funny. Seriously, those t this combination, this one and this one, with the build-up of the character of who this guy is and she is, I think it's brilliant. I thought it was very well done. I thought it was very well done. Okay. And then it continues, and then uh, Ratliff ends up dating somebody. So it's very much a continuing story right um, but I think we should read this one I can't remember what this one was uh, comic uh, strips like this you have to read multiple times right boy the pigs you meet in these bars I love to think of n new ways to freak them out she says or she's thinking here comes one now Ratliff walks up hi mind if I join you he asks fine but I feel I must warn you, I'm a little uh, kinky. <laughs> That's fine. Completely straight. Straight would be too. Uh, as long as uh, you shampoo. <laughs> no way. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. What? <laughs> no. What I mean was that I'm, <laughs> I'm trisexual. <laughs> Why that's sick? <laughs> and he's thinking of a tricycle. <laughs> oh, too funny. Too funny. Too funny. Too funny. Okay, this was really good. That is hysterical. Totally hysterical. <laughs> Like seriously, at some point I'm gonna try to get my hands on all of this. Okay, I looked online and I couldn't find a set, uh, but I'm gonna look it up again because this is cracking me up even more than the first time. Actually, not just as much as the first time. So funny, so funny. And then he's got a whole bunch of stuff, which is cool, which is cool. Okay. Should we read the back as well? Crack hat, nice. Cheryl's like, that is hysterical. Too funny. So Ratliff and, uh, what do you call it? I-Beam, right? You know, I-Beam, uh, you have tons of fantasies. Sometimes I wonder if you can keep track of where reality runs out and your imagination begins. Well, Ratliff, and a dinosaur comes over and eats them, Everything is relative, right? Funny, funny. Cheryl says, I need to find that to share with the kids as a cautionary tale. <laughs> what year was this comic again? What year was this comic? Let's check it out. Good question, Elder God. What year was this comic? 
this comic, this comic, this comic. Uh, when did this come out? When did this come out? You know what? That's a good question because I think I had to look it up online to find out when this came up because it didn't have the date. Oh no, it does. Uh, da, da, da. There it is. There it is. Uh, all contents. So here's a fine print. I mean, but up published quarterly by Double Diamond Press, Northgate Boulevard, Austin, Texas. Texas. This publication, copyright 1992 by Double Diamond Press. All rights reserved under international copyright conventions. All content 1983, 1991, 1992 by Samher. So 1992 came out. This is 1992. Okay. And I don't remember seeing this on my comic racks when I was buying comics. Cool, crack says 1990 to 1992. So this would have been, I think this might have been the last issue. I think, I think. Okay. Should we take a look at an image book? Should we? <laughs> Makes sense. Should we take a look at an image book? Why did I highlight this? Oh yeah, check this out. Okay, this is issue number four. Uh, it's a snapshot. Andy Giggle, okay, uh, wrote it, and Jock did the artwork for it. I don't know the uh, first name. Okay, issue number four of four. Again, again, this is going to be spoilers. This is towards the end of this. It's a four issue miniseries, right? From Image Comics. And it's towards the end of issue number four. So it's it's giving away the story, right? And this came out in 2000 and uh, May 2013. Okay. May 2013. snapshot number four okay. and um, the story basically what this is I'm gonna give you guys the full story it's basically uh, someone finds a phone uh, and the phone is hot and it belongs to someone that uh, had information and uh, and uh, there's GPS on it and the bad guys try to track down and they do track down the people with the phone okay so this is when a whole bunch of stuff has already happened okay and i highlighted this because this is sort of relates to politics new world order okay so i just put new world order for myself to let me know it's politics deep state or whatnot and what's happened in the story so far is this is one of the bad guys first time we're meeting them really this guy and this is the main guy okay and he's been captured uh, after a lot of things that have happened and we're about to get a little story from the bad guy of how the world works okay so he's in this being held up in this mansion he was just he was drugged and brought here so he's just waking up to what's going on mr dobson he'll see you now the guy says let me guess you're the bad guy he says to your way of thinking I suppose I probably am in truth I represent the collection of mutual interests you may call me McGarrett 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 my way of thinking he says or he asks you are a law-abiding taxpayer mr. Robson you believe in social justice 
that the system will locate and punish wrongdoers. But what you fail to understand is this. We do not exist to serve the people. The people exist to serve us. We are the system, banks, media, government. And you, Mr. Dobson, you are, you are the anomaly. I have no idea what you're talking about. Why am I even here, he asks. Think of it as a self-healing organism. Remove one rogue cell from the body politic, a witness, a whistleblower, and the system corrects itself. It absorbs the anomaly and moves on, the bad guy says. Absorbs the anomaly. That's a hell of a, hell of a euphorism for murder. He says he's been beaten up through this ordeal okay what about those people at the camp in the woods have they been absorbed there is no camp there are no people the bad guy says bullshit i saw them what you saw is irrelevant what you say is irrelevant the bad guy says yeah so what's to stop me going straight to the cops he asks you already did and what did that achieve three more deaths on your conscience Perception is all that matters, and we control the public discourse. Do you understand? You are incapable of threatening us, he says. In point of fact, Mr. Dobson, it is extraordinary that you have made us notice you at all. You should be proud, he says. Go fuck yourself, he replies. Here, perhaps this will help you, you, uh, you to understand, hands him something, right? What is it? He asks. Jesus, he picks it up. It's a finger, right? So this thing that he handed him, that's a finger. He's like Jesus. Jonathan Twain, pick it up. I'm not, I don't pick it up. Pick it up, he says. Put it with his wife. Right? And he's picking it up. Too much glare. Oh my, oh my God, he says. Look at all the fingers. Robert Jones, Jonathan Twain, Justin Ishman, something. Are these all people you've killed? Some of them, he says. 
We've been at it a while. Look at that, look at that. Killer was one of our most trusted agents, but it would seem that he nurtured ambition above his station. He fooled us for years, faking assassinations and pressing our would-be victims into a lifetime of indenture servitude. The work farm, he says. The world is a work farm, Mr. Rob Dobson. Your misconception is merely one of scale. Keller understood that now better than ever. See for yourself. He points to the stairs going down. Callie, Jake. That's the other good person that the bad people were chasing. Uh, okay, she, they, they found each other through this series. Callie, what? Callie, Jake. She runs towards them. Oh God, I thought they killed you, or worse, they. They made me watch, she says. Watch, watch what? Keller, oh God, he says. Told, told you to kill me. And this person that we see here is one of the top assassins for the bad organization right that was tasked for finding the phone and eliminating the girl okay that found the phone and then the guy and it was revealed that he was uh, other he was skimming from the top okay from the bad guys so they grab them and are torturing him right so there's the torturer you have the right stuff mr. Dobson all that we now require for closure is a degree of incrimination to safeguard your silence you understand hands and a gun and if I don't what then my friends my family to begin right I'm not like you please Please, he's begging to be shot, right? He's begging to be shot. So he puts the gun to the assassin's head, right? And then they set them free. And if you notice, they're videotaping him doing this. So that's the incrimination, right? Degree of incrimination. I thought that was worthwhile. I thought that was worthwhile. Okay. It was a good story. It was a good story. And the artists should have uh, da, 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 da. here we go and Andy Diggle's uh, Diggle has done a lot of work okay so the writer for this series is Andy Diggle art and cover by Jock 
Letter by Clem Robinson. Snapshot Comics. Okay. Let's take a look at another one, gang. Let's take a look at another one. Okay. Now, before we do this, I'm going to just do one thing. i got to do a little tape up of a wire here because it's you probably heard it is hitting the comics making a scraping sound so let me tie this up cool so for our i don't know fourth reading fourth little segment reading right uh this is a mini series i think it was a mini series anyway zero tolerance from let's see if we can focus on it first publishing okay 1990 and first stuff uh, was around i'm not sure how long they stuck around but this is from 1990 they're independent publisher and they did a few comic books um they did i think uh, badger as well uh, and a few other comic books sort of independent titles right independent comic book publishing company so oh yeah limited series part one of four right so it's sort of a sci-fi series okay and i like this cover because it's sort of portrays the one of the best car scenes sort of sells one of the best car scenes i've read uh, car chase scenes I've read in comic books okay and the artist for this is it Tim Vigil uh, the writer was Tim Vigil let me find the name this came out in 1990 okay zero tolerance zero tolerance volume one number one October 1990 and da, 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 created by here we go created by uh, david barber writer are tim vigil so the writer is david doop, barber tim vigil and gary uh amor amoro are the pencilers okay Tim Tyler, the inker, Willie Schubert, and Clem Robbins, letterer, and Ray Morlot, colorist, with Bob Garcia, the editor. Zero Tolerance, number one, uh, from 1990. And it's nice artwork, beautiful artwork. Lots of story, lots of reading, heavy text, heavy text, right? But we're going to read a section that is less heavy text okay and beautiful coloring like i love it it's vibrant uh, characters this is the main character by the way these are two main characters okay this is uh i forget his name <laughs> right uh but fun fun okay uh, this is and again this is a corporate bad world right uh bunch of elites media uh rich people uh this is the president of the united states they conspire to you know do what it is that's you know those people are doing right now really but <laughs> in a scientific realm right so they've put together because there's been so much corruption the story so far they put people are restless they want they want investigation into all these corruptions and stuff like this so the president of the united states puts together a committee like a new task force right police task force just to let off a little steam calm the masses so the masses don't come to bring out the guillotine for these people right and this is sort of the task force coming together this is the head of the task force okay and all those people you see there those are all the sort of police 
that they've assigned to this task force yes sir bop, 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 bop. and this is you know the black sheep in the family right? and she is the police chief's daughter okay oh yeah first uh, publications put out grim jack as well okay actually if i have a grim grimjack i might have one or two copy uh, uh issues but nothing more i need to get more grimjack right and you know he's talking they're talking together and they're they're supposed to the police chief i guess for this department is having a meeting with he partnered up all the cops so all the cops have partners they're going to go out into the field and he partnered up his daughter with the main guy because he's like the best cop out there right and she's like oh what are you why did i get partnered with this guy why did you just and he's explaining all this right and he's late to the meeting this guy late to the meeting and he just steps in right so he go, he comes in and says uh what does she say we'll read these panels right look and i'm speaking as your uncle now oh sorry uncle not father uncle now i put you with turk and that's the cop's name turk because he's the best chance i have of getting you home to your mother for christmas it's going to get dangerous out there he says right and she's like oh man you put me together with this male chauvinist this macho dude right and you may not believe this but despite his many faults turk is still sing is still the single best agent i've recruited and then turk walks in thanks for the vote of confidence chief it means a lot coming from you car chase I put a little note for myself car chase so he joins the meeting late sorry I was late sorry I was late been rereading all those notes I took at the meetings this morning which he didn't even probably show up right so he comes in with a pad right and puts the pad on the table and he wouldn't have taken any notes and the chief would have known that right so that was a hint okay and he points to the pad Grot ground air outside window watching probably listening does broad know how to fly a ground ground air if so <laughs> then she's like broad right fly ground there if so get her to grab one fly up and we'll nail the bastards right and then the chief turns to the, her niece i guess says miss mcknight would you be good enough to let me have a few words with turkle alone please certainly chief grusky i'll be in the cafeteria if you need me she replies see you later she says turd and then she runs over to one of these hover hover cars right which is basically what's pictured here right it's a hover car right on the cover what is it thin? ground air units classified personnel only right yeah those were the good old days chief too bad the old boner saved the world and made himself god and he's talking about the president of the united states right now don't talk about our beloved president like that the chief says right and he the president has become president for life so it's a dictatorship sorry chief how to how a few too many today he says got to go he sees the the hover car come up right got to go the chief says what let's focus this let's see if it focus there we go right. 
Turk, wait, the chief says. Turk, wait. He's got a big smile on his face. Right? Yeah, grin. Eat rug, chief. And duck. Dock me for the window. Bam. Crack, 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 crack. Blows out the window. Right? Hey, crack. <laughs> you watching? Crack, 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 crack. Blows out the window. What the hell? The chief says. Right? Nice panel or splash page. And then he jumps out. Are you crazy? Damn it. You'd better uh, catch him after this. Shit. I don't. What does she say? I don't believe it, she says. Woof. He lands in the plane. Right? Don't tell me Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, right? She says. Oh, my back. Hell, you waited. Hell, you waiting for. Let's go. Relax, com Commando. We're right on his tail, and I've got a radar lock. Do you jump out of windows often, she asks. Yeah, but it's usually because the husband's home early. Yeah, right, she says. He's got his leg hanging on the windshield. Christ, will you strain this damn thing up, out so I can get up? Sure you can pilot this? crate so it's a partner cop partner story right only me and about 500 other people have been trained on these most people still think ground airs are outmoded hovercrafts rich people fly on weekends obviously you've never been in one she says G. G. Guess I'm just an underprivileged child. Shut up for a second. I'm engaging target lock on an exhaust port. Should force it down if I can hit it. I don't know how that sound effect reads. Shkak, shkak, fires and kills a bird in the process. Oops. Great shot. That seagull will be shitting lava for days. You're a real asshole. You know that, she replies. And then this is the center full page. Sort of gives you a lowdown on the universe. It is the year 2017. Zero tolerance. They believe in truth, justice. They believe in truth, justice, America, and all the right stuff. Their beliefs may get them killed. New color series by Tim Vigil. So it gives you a little lowdown of what this is all about, right? But we're going to continue with the car chase and here's a the panel the car chase panel Choo. flying up towards the top of a skyscraper never seen a ga move like this must be modified whoever's flying it is real pro got to start anticipating his moves or i'll lose them she's thinking come on ace you're losing them turk replies
120 miles per hour. Will you let me concentrate, she says. Can't you keep up, Turk says. Why don't you shut up, she yells. Arr. training was never like this never even tried these maneuvers in the simulator whoa where do you think you're going she thinks and he's like Phew. okay this guy knows he's not going to ditch me just by speed alone wait He's breaking, breaking, turning. He's going to fire Brooks building. So he turns around. Zoom. V -v -v -v. Oh, my stomach, Turk says. Look out. So it's doing a loop to loop. Atop the Brooks Building in the City Lights restaurant, famous for its spectacular view of the San Francisco skyline. Let me tell you, babe, the music business is wacky, but I love it. Turk and Molly find themselves on the defensive, swinging and twisting in a circulous pattern, trying to avoid the pulse burst from the um, spy ship. What's this guy thinking? What's going on? Excuse me, can I get a doggy bag? Martha, I told you, this something was full of weirdos this place was full of weirdos and they're flying towards the restaurant look at that guns blaring or blasting playing an old-fashioned game of chicken in an effort to get the mystery craft off her back molly makes two mistakes the first is not knowing about his fame this famous restaurant Oh my god people are running run it's gonna hit us the second waiting a fraction of a second too long before pulling up oh no out of my way you fat cow eek bang flies through the window people flying everywhere glass shattered but fortunately, she locates the exit. Foam comes out the other side. Jesus, that was close. Hope no one got hurt. <laughs> Look at Turk, his mouth. It looks like he's about to vomit. Right? I don't know if that was intentional or not. great great panel work by the way great panel work right you feel like you're there like there's movement involved with it right chomp chomp oh no he's eating that's right he was eating a burger he picked up a burger where's the burger i forgot about that there it is he's munching on a burger he's not hurling he picked up a burger from the restaurant haha -ha. right funny munch munch chomp chomp they'll be all right chomp didn't see you see you nail anyone just a little chomp shook up that's all they hey these things are good chomp chomp want one talking about the burger 
You're unbelievable, she says. Great, we've got company on our tail, gaining fast. So someone's coming up behind them, firing at them as well. What are you doing? He stands up, pulls out his gun. How do you How do you get this goddamn safety belt off? He says, right. the rocketeering vehicle swoop over the metropolitan sprawl of towering skyscrapers. And bolt back down zigzagging in a blur of motion that human eye can scarcely follow hey there asshole tailgating is illegal he's pissed turkis she's like fully concentrating now I'm not gonna give you a ticket this time but consider this BAM BOOM but consider this a warning blows up the car look at that nails it and the car mm. smacks into the building nice shooting she says whoosh, whoosh. the car goes this is the main car that they've been chasing look at that yeah your flying ain't that bad either now they got respect for each other right their first sort of meeting now they got respect for each other and the car chase continues for a broad he says not bad for a broad eh suddenly the desperate spycraft takes advantage of the setting sun's glaring rays. Turns around, right? And fires at them. Pow! Nails them. Holy shit, we're hit, Turk says. Damn, should have known what he was going to do. Right stabilizer's gone, she says. McKnight, do you see that building? in front of us yes then why are you flying into it right turk asks so on top of the skyscrapers Ooh, flying around he turns around shoots at him nails him right the right stabilizer's gone and they're flying towards a building Shit, she says ah Turk is like knows they're gonna crash right. crash
explosion comes out the other end. Oof. And their hover car is like destroyed. Zigzags along on fire, splashes into the bay or the ocean, I guess. San Francisco. There's extremely risky. This is extremely risky, Senator. Do you really think zero, to zero tolerance will help us get Tidwell off the island? We'll never find out unless we test the waters. Now we, now will we? Nice car chase scene. And then here is a brief history of the United States, 1997 to 2017. Right. And it's built, you know, the lore, the history of the universe. Yeah, yeah, first publications, uh, first publishing. Okay. Also did uh, Dreadstar, right? Dreadstar is fantastic. Okay. Badger is a great re read. Dreadstar. Grimjack, I don't have. If I have, I have maybe two copies or something. Lone Wolf and Cub, also. Okay. Nexus as well. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Cool. Chief Irvin Grusky, a revered national hero appointed to zero tolerance, suspected, uh, suspects as much on this. Now, all he has to do is prove it. The president has a powerful unseen ally determined to remain in the shadows zero tolerance has turk and molly the president is in big trouble haha -ha, total like cop buddy movie right and one thing i liked about this car chase by the way it felt like very much like a movie scene where you see the big picture and it flashes to the faces saying things right it you felt the motion of the whole thing right explosions and there's like flow happening right so well done well done well done well done oh wow gang we're down to 15 minutes is that what it is oh wow we got 15 minutes left and I, we got all these look at this maybe we do another reading uh next week uh to read up on some of these ones yeah what do you guys say uh this one i'll give you a lowdown on these just to, uh just in case we don't get to them uh check this out this one out uh <laughs> crazy bro happens hello hello uh, let me let me bring back the chat as well oh yes please okay let's try this because i don't want to rush through these but i'll give you a little lowdown i'm going to bring up the chat again bring out the browser and I'm gonna bring my camera back asylum ah oh, crack asylum I just read the first two issues the other night no no it's not very good eh not bad so check this out check this out I need more elder God says um, this was a compilation of different stories I cracked did you like it crack did you like it beautiful artwork it's like a horror series right mini stories beautiful artwork like this is one of the I was actually gonna read you guys this one okay uh, pretty cool and then another set of artists come on here and the artwork changes uh, lonely piggy how are you doing I really like yeah crack I figured you would and I really liked it as well it was a nice read and then you know they're shorts and then another this was really fun as well this was great actually this one was really good 
uh, the Edgar Allan Poe, Poe one, um, it was okay, okay. And this one was interesting as well, right? So this is sort of a horror compilation or sci-fi. The first story was Bolton Art is stellar, stellar indeed, fantastic. John Bolton, Nick Weiss did the John Bolton illustrator, yeah. So Nick. Nick Weiss was the writer and the writing was good but Joan Bolton wow phenomenal artwork phenomenal artwork right jumped on the comic well, we talked about a few streams ago Chicho got one for a good deal all things considered really happy to be getting it getting getting it soon cool which comic uh, oh, I forget which comic it was lonely piggy evil to hope hello how are you doing you're joining us towards the end of our stream comic book stream this series this i was very pleasantly surprised about i'm surprised they did the uh, pixel artwork okay like really because the inside artwork it was really i love this artwork and it's a detective story you'll just have to extend it another 24 hours nice <laughs> i wouldn't be able to read that long so it's a sort of a detective story and it's her detective agency right and i didn't really pick out anything too much to read well i guess i just picked out this page just to start reading from this segment oh the first jason todd you picked it up awesome batman 635 that's right that's right awesome Issue two opens with Neil Gaiman and Mark uh, Birmingham. Yeah, I noticed. Neil Gaiman is the next one, right? For issue number two. Like I was intrigued with this. I don't have issue number two. I don't think I do anyway. And I picked this up for 25 cents, right? Great read. Uh, but this one was a great, great story. Really, I really enjoyed this. Uh, fantastic science fiction detective story. Uh, really well done and beautiful artwork beautiful artwork uh, so I wouldn't mind tracking more of this down it's from IDW uh, uh, read only memories right read only memories and this came out when did this one come out uh, 2019 this came out in 2019 and asylum came out in the 90s it's got to be in the 90s I had a hard time following finding the date for this I think it was in 1990s that this came out I think uh, I had to look it up online 1993 or so okay I think it's on the the guy had it on here and then I couldn't find it anywhere else great detective story mark birmingham for issue number two cool lonely piggy i bought a graded one 9.8 you bought a 9.8 batman 635 that must have cost you a mint my wallet suffered but like i said it was a better deal than most i found okay awesome how much did it set you back brother batman 635 first appearance of jason todd as red hood that must have set you back serious few hundred bucks i'm assuming alaga says 1990s was my favorite comic period it was a great period this comic is crazy because it it's megaton man okay the uncategorizable x x plus them is right so megaton man um lonely piggy so 500 you uh canadian including shipping okay so cost you 500 bucks Canadian uh, to buy Batman 635 graded at CGC graded 9.8. I'm assuming it was CGC. Uh, so it was black and white. It, it had humor, uh, dark humor. And it's got like lots of beautiful, beautiful splash pages. Definitely not politically correct definitely not politically correct i do not remember megaton man being this this darkish to a certain degree because there's dark humor involved in here right and this is from kitchen sink okay publications kitchen sink comics 
and there's actually a, a couple of scenes in here which i don't even know if i, I would do it uh read it for you guys uh, it's it's on the verge of uh well yeah <laughs> crazy lonely piggy it's only going to be my current holy grail red hood is my favorite character so purchasing the issue was necessary yeah it was when you said it was your favorite character indeed this one icon devil i really enjoyed this book icon devil and these are these guys from bc from my part of the world and i think it was a i forget how many issues they put out i think they put out three or four issues that's it and uh penticton penticton uh british columbia okay and who was the person um i forget their names uh, da, 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 da. neil uh neil hansen right this was a great series or a great comic i really as far as independence go this was really beautifully done i was going to just read you this much of it starting from here i just i just wrote down great read and beautiful artwork really really nice artwork i really enjoyed the artwork in this right it's too bad that uh, i don't know too much about these the people involved in this i haven't looked them up okay so nice read pleasant surprise scout scout timothy truman scout number 21 and this is beautiful artwork okay nice story heavy mature okay like beautiful panel work beautiful splash pages nice writing okay I've, re I've read a few of these it's sort of futuristic and what did i highlight to read i can't remember oh i was gonna read this yeah 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 this is about u.s constitution it wasn't it wasn't even the main story right and this is eclipse comics and eclipse comics is a very political comic book series it had a lot of political comic books out there okay scout is classic yeah elder god uh, says to lonely piggy that's a good price i love jason todd i voted to save him ah <laughs> hilarious in the 1980s i think that was one of what when it came out uh dc comics put out a comic book a comic book saying you know should we save jason todd or kill him and people voted to kill him right uh crack says i think icon devil only went two issues i have that one as well but never knew it was canadian yeah bc penticton bc penticton bc only two issues eh? i gotta get the second one i wouldn't mind like i personally would like to get these graded slab 9.8 that would be like one of a kind <laughs> or five of a kind maybe right really well done i i enjoyed it uh dark horse presents right concrete i was gonna give you give you guys a read of a concrete story right and concrete is a fantastic character okay um very good chadwick oh, what's his name um bu -bu 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 -bu. yeah paul chadwick uh is the creator of concrete very nice and this is uh this isn't star wars but um sort of star wars related dark horse presents uh yeah dark horse presents put out a lot of star wars uh uh comics i've read a uh, or stories i've read some uh with them there's some first appearances there I can't remember if this was supposed to be Star Wars. No, this isn't Star Wars. This is like more futuristic. Okay, and then it's Boris Bear story. Right. Funny. The Lonely Pig says, I honest I'm honestly glad the people decided to get rid of Jason. Otherwise we wouldn't have gotten red hood. Ha ha ha. Paul Chadwick. Concrete is great. I agree with crack. Right? And this uh it's an independent fantagraphic okay fantagraphic books I can, and fantagraphic is mature this is called uh, crucial fiction okay and this is number three issue number three okay. and I, there's no way i could read you the first story 
and I didn't really enjoy the first story too much, but I like the backup story on this, in this meeting. The artwork is very reminiscent of uh, the cares and stuff. Like it's beautiful artwork. So when we get a chance, maybe we do this as well. And I'm gonna keep on reading a lot of these independents and a lot of these books, just randoms that I've picked up uh, on the cheap, cheap 25 cents a pop. Uh, and that's what I'm really reading right now. I'm jumping around all over the place. I'm enjoying the variety of stuff. Alfida, hello, Chicho. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much, Vida. Doing well. You're ca catching us at the end of the stream, but thank you for popping in. Crack, great selection, Chicho. Got to run. See you next time. See you next time, Crack. And gang, let's call the stream. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the readings uh, I sh share as much as we can of course right and gang as my outro if you want to know what this work is about I am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho uh, you can follow the work there I'm also on subscribe star and Substack, Substack, and the links will be on all our platforms from now on and have been for a couple of weeks now okay so you can follow the work there for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon as well as twitch gang thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do what it is that we are doing and i thank you very much and mods thank you for being here and taking care of business trom finn thank you for the follow and thank you for the follow and the subs gang apologies if i missed some okay i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines vk gap part of getter and bitcloud and we'll see what other platforms we hop on or hop off okay for live streams where we don't have any visuals, we do upload those um, audio recordings to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho, chychos chicho a podcast, and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform. Okay. We will be uploading this live stream to SensorTube, to BitChute, to Rumble, and to Odyssey. But if you want to follow all of our content, you want to be subscribed on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey with notifications turned on because we don't upload everything to SensorTube and SensorTube does not send out notifications to everyone. And we do have a gilded server where you can join us and join our community, participate in discussions, share information, share your loves, ask questions. Okay. Elder God, it was all part of the 1988 four issue Batman arc, Death in the Family, opens a new tab opens and opens a uh, storyline in which the joker brutally beat jason todd with a crowbar within a literal inch of his life and readers were given a phone number to call hey this was 1988 to vote on whether dc should go uh should go that last inch or not with 10,614 votes tallied and a slim 72 vote difference robin died i didn't know the numbers that's crazy so 10,614 people called in to cast their vote and 72 more said off with his head and they killed jason todd cool cool lonely piggy i'll have to watch the reading of today on youtube um cool or bit you to rumble and odyssey right seeing as i came in here at the end cool 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 come to gilded server gang lonely piggy death in the family is top tier stories top tier reading top tier reading deep flake hey long time no see long time no see deep flake we gotta go thanks for popping in uh i'll announce live streams again for next weekend uh, probably towards the end of this week um, thursday or friday or something like this and uh, we'll see what we end up doing gang I hope you have a fantastic week, and I'll see you guys in the next stream. Bye for now.